Hi there, Ron Molden, Robert Lane at the Butler Yard. Today we're going to talk about how to secure a master coil. Take it away, Robert. Good morning, drivers. Hope everyone's having a good morning so far. We wanted to touch base with you on master coils, securing these master coils. We're seeing uh, some a lot of drivers that are doing things uh, that we're just not really fond of. So we wanted to start out with our with our anchor points. As you can see, this driver is using his outside anchor points for for securing his coils. We're seeing some drivers use the center tracks right here. This this quarterway track in this this track and the center track for securing these massive coils. We don't need to do that. Just, just do not use these center tracks just for your anchor points. Use these outside tracks. Now, if, you, if you're required to have four chains or five chains through your pull, if you want to run two on the outside and then two on the pull away in and one here, five chains, that's fine. But let's just not use these tracks on the inside for securing these master pulls. That's it on, the anchor, on, the, uh, on our anchor points. Uh, next thing is edge protectors. Drivers, make sure you're using edge protectors on, on, on all of your coils. Uh, friction mats. Friction mats are DOT required. Uh, they are DOT required. They, they're a must. They are a must. Uh, along with, your, with your, your strap or chain over the top. It, it is DOT required that your, that your chain is over the top of the coil, along with the friction mat. Also, one last thing, your chains, make sure your chains are running close as possible to this coil in the front, in the front of the coil, in the front of here, in the front, and the back. Make sure these chains are, are, are pretty much touching this coil. Uh, you don't want your chain running out here by all means or in front of the coil. You're not want the chain running out here up front. Now then, with that being said, if you use plenty of chains on your uh, friction mats, edge protectors, you're, you, you're taking it easy, you drive careful, don't get aggressive, you, you, this coil is not going to go anywhere. Now I can tell you that in the years past, uh, investigating these accidents where coils are, are, are shifting and moving and coming off the trailers, the main contributing factor to that is no friction mats were used in the short chain of the loads. If, if, you know, if I've said this once, I've said it a hundred times, guys. If, you're, if you are one of the drivers that and that takes shortcuts on your chain, on your chaining. You're shortcutting your chaining, you're not using friction mats, and you're an aggressive driver. It's, it's not a matter of if you're going to have an accident, it's a matter of when you're going to have an accident. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, these, these coils, they, uh, they can be very dangerous when they're not secured properly. So. But that's going to wrap it up, wrap it up for us on these master coils. Uh, drivers, be careful out there. Keep your guard up and uh, don't get caught slipping. Thank All you right. Guys. Thank you, Robert, very much. Um, hey, again, drivers, thank you for all you do. Yeah. Thank, thank care of our customers. Yes. Thank you for delivering on time, and most of all, thank you for doing it safe. Yes. Until next time. Thank you. See you guys. Hi guys, you know me, April in safety. I just want to kind of touch base with you today and go over some of the most common causes for accidents. So speeding, we all know speeding is um, one of those things that in trucking is just a no-no. It endangers you, everyone around you. Um, odds of being um, in an accident increase substantially whenever you're speeding. You know Ike and Big G's rules, 15 mile an hour over, it's possible automatic termination. That's something that we don't want. We don't want you getting ticketed by an officer. We don't want you in an accident, and we certainly do not want any of our drivers losing their jobs. 
easy to get caught up in distracted driving. Number one, distracted driving, cell phone usage. Please do not be on your phone. Don't be talking. Don't be texting. We all have Bluetooth capabilities now, hands-free, headsets. Whatever you need to be safe on the road, do not have a cell phone usage as distracted driving. Eating, that's a big cause. I know you guys are in the truck and you only have so many options, but if you can eat on your break, take a break. Um, anything to keep you from driving distracted.